We grew up Sunni uh, Muslims, and so we weren't radical or extremist by any means, but we were definitely conservative. We would fa fast during the month of Ramadan. Friday prayers were normal. Uh, my sisters would cover up. Naeem Fazl lived in Kuwait, and he studied the Quran diligently. We grew up uh, learning and memorizing, actually, the Quran. I can recite passages of the Quran because there was a value in memorizing uh, the Islamic scriptures. While his life was grounded in the Muslim faith, a chain of events took place that set Naeem on a new spiritual journey. His older brother had an opportunity to study in the United States. He came here and um, a year later he came back and he was different. Uh, and I knew something was, was up. Um, and that's when he actually told us that he was, uh, he was a Christian. I remember that day because I had threatened to kill him. Even though Naeem resented his brother's change of heart, he decided to visit him in America. I hopped on a plane and uh, came to the U.S. and that's when I got confronted with Christianity. Three weeks after arriving in the U.S., he went to see a movie with his brother. It was a Christian film. Here I was confronted with this whole new concept or a whole new religion, but it was more than a religion, you know. Um, and in that movie, um, I, I realized that maybe there's something else out there. Naeem was confused and began to question his Muslim faith. So I remember just kind of praying, and I, I, I wouldn't even call it a prayer, it was just more of a, I don't know who's up there, if you're real, show me. After that, I had another conversation with my brother. He told me that uh, this God who came down in the form of his son, Jesus, would pursue me and do whatever it takes to have a relationship with me. I remember making fun of, uh, of him and I said, well, you know, will he just come down if I just ask him? And my brother said, yes, if you would ask him, he'll come down. And I remember at that point I went, this is ridiculous. But in my head I was thinking, you know what, if this is true, then why don't you reveal yourself? That night when he was going to sleep, he sensed what he describes as an evil presence filling his bedroom. The door opened. I looked up and the room started to look really strange, uh, more like death. I mean, what walked in was this demon, this thing that, that I couldn't even explain. So this thing starts walking towards me and somehow communicates that it's going to kill me. And it stopped right in my, on my bed and just disappeared. He ran down the hall to his brother's room. He said, you know, the only person that I know has power over demons and angels is Jesus. Naeem returned to his room. I said, Jesus, I don't know who you are. I can't call you my, the Lord of my life. I can't call you, you know, Savior. I can't call you any of these things. Because at this moment, I'm afraid. I'm scared. I need help. Um, but if you will help me, then I will give you my whole life. The next moment, I found myself sitting on my bed with my eyes open, staring into this presence. I can't even explain it. It was the presence of, of Jesus. I knew it was Jesus. This peace was so aggressive. It was it invaded every single thing, uh, every part of me. And, and, and I felt like it communicated to me saying, your life is not your own and I believed it. He finally understood all that his brother was trying to tell him. I wanted to do everything possible, so I think the first month or so, I must have prayed the sinner's prayer or accepted Jesus or said the prayer like about eight or nine times, because I just wanted to do it. I just want to make sure. When he was a Muslim, he learned the Quran and knew a lot about Allah, but didn't have a relationship with him. It makes total sense now. It, it, it only makes sense that God would come in to us in a form of a, a, a man, uh, a human, and to be able to, re to relate to us, but also to redeem us um, and to have a relationship with us. In the years that followed, Naeem ministered to college students and met his wife, Ashley. They now have two beautiful children, Asher and Noura. Naeem challenges those in the Muslim faith to make a specific prayer if they really want to have a relationship with God. 
people and Muslims talk with me and and uh, you know we 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 talk about our differences and why I converted you know uh, my challenge to them is this I said hey why don't you do this why don't you consistently for a period of time maybe take two weeks or or so and just sincerely seek this this God this this just Jesus he's able to take a person radically transform them and give them a purpose beyond their imagination because that's exactly what God did to me God wants a relationship with them um, more than they do and so God's going to pursue them and all they need to do is just ask